Hey Wild Honey Pie, I'm Rob and welcome to Oyster Oyster. Taste is everything, right? And everyone has different taste palettes. And for me, it's like, I want people to know what my tastes are. You have a vision for how something should feel and sound and be in existence, you know? And how you want other people to receive it or taste it, feel it. I do think of kind of what I do with my pedals and with my productions as sort of like a recipe. You have all these crunchy sounds, all these modulated sounds and beautiful sounds, and at the very end, you have these like finishing touches. It's really literally like salt and pepper and all of your things you put on right before you like put it on the table. And those would be my reverbs and my harmonic percolators. It's kind of like curating the menu of your album. You have this thing that's like very much uniquely me. And I use to express everything that I'm trying to do with my music and with my life in a way. I'm Barty Strange. I live here in Washington, D.C. Um, it's a beautiful day, um, and this is my Wild Honey Pie Buzz Session family meal. Um, shout out to Amazon Music for having us, to Otherworld, to Mumgree. This is amazing that we could do this together. And I'm here with Rob at Oyster Oyster. We're gonna make some food. All right, so we got these awesome wild foraged oyster mushrooms. Cool. I was thinking we could braise those, turn those into a cool little schnitzel. We got some peanut butter. We're gonna turn that into like this really cool peanut broth with a bunch of fresh herbs. Cool. All right. Damn. Let's get this thing started. We're gonna braise these mushrooms. Okay. And uh, this is gonna make them nice and soft. Normally when you try bread, these kind of mushrooms, they're like real fragile and they'll snap off. Uh -huh. And it's gonna give us kind of this replication of maybe like a protein, like chicken or something. Can you tell me if I'm wrong? Anytime I've braised something, it's been in an oven. Am I crazy? Um. Traditionally, it's just like a low temp cooking. Okay. So yeah, your most things would be done in an oven, but we don't really follow rules here. So we're gonna do a little different, right? This is brazy, literally braised already. They're nice, they're tender. They've soaked up some of this mushroom broth that we braised. How long have we been doing this? Like This is probably around 15 minutes. And then if you want, you can always just let it sit in here a little longer and it'll absorb some more of this flavor. But these look fantastic already. How did you make the broth? We dry a bunch of mushrooms throughout the year um, to save for like this season in the winter. Mm -hmm. um, and we've cooked that with some seaweed, some dried tomato, um, a little bit of tamari, and finished it with some fresh ginger. That's sick. Yeah. Awesome, man. What kind of mushrooms are these? Yeah, so these are a winter oyster. Okay. Uh, I thought it'd be fun. That's the name well, of the restaurant. Oyster Oyster. oyster. oyster right? Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time you see them cultivated, but in the winter they pop up. And this oh. is like You've eaten an oyster mushroom, once you eat a wild oyster mushroom, you're not going back. Wow. It's a way more complex flavor, okay. really interesting and kind of rare, so. Let's bread these suckers. So we're gonna kind of have fun with something here. We want to do this vegan, and we found if you make a batter that's similar to like an egg's consistency, it works. So we have this pancake batter, and we're gonna make a savory dish using pancake batter. It's packed with some veggies too, so we'll sneak those in. This is a good way to sneak veggies on people. Do you be doing that in your day to day? I have two kids, so they're like, just wanna eat mac and cheese, so I have to like chop vegetables really small. What's it like raising kids who like, don't get that you make rad food yet? And they're just like, oh dad, D do they ever like think your stuff is mid? Like do they ever yeah. think, oh I don't really like this? Oh, all the time. Sometimes wow. breakfast is like a three course meal because it's denied, like push it away. Word? Like, bring your best game. Man. And um, I fail most mornings, so yeah. Don't take that to heart, man. You're good at what you do, first of all. <laughs> all right, now we're just gonna add some water now. There's none left. That worked out great. Yeah, we used all of it. <laughs> all right, you wanna mix it up? Yeah. Do some mixing. 
So, do you like listen to music when you cook? I guess it's not allowed in a restaurant like this, huh? Well, we listen to music all through prep. Uh, it's an open kitchen too, so right. we make sure we curate the playlist that we like too, so we can hear that music while we're cooking throughout service for our guests. Mm -hmm. So, uh, music's playing from start to finish every day in here. That's dope. Yeah. What are you listening to right now? Other than like Barty Strange, he's yeah, it's like mostly local guy, like Strange, really cool dude. So on repeat, you know, he's a talent, local talent, like super dope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna bread. This is our dry hand. We kind of dust these mushrooms with a little bit of flour, then drop in, wet hand, touches the wet stuff. Okay. Drop into the dry, and then dry hand again, right? Yeah. Wow, I would have done this so poorly. So we kind of want like a pickly element with this. We're gonna fry it up so we've got some fat and we want to be able to cut that fat now, so we want something acidic, so we're going to make a little bit of a slaw. Like a coleslaw? Yeah, like a coleslaw. So we got some red, green cabbage, and some radish. Nice. You know, we like to do everything seasonal here. We're just going to cut it really thin. This is caramelized garlic, so we like to cook with garlic oil here. What's all this extra stuff? We haven't really touched any of it yet. There's always a recipe, right? And that's just kind of like, flat line, this is how to get from A to B. Mm -hmm. But these are like how we take something from good to extraordinary. We always talk about like willing things to taste good. Yeah. So we have vinegar, we have just some vegetable stock, we have tamari to add salinity that has depth instead of just throwing kosher salt in. And then we have some like herb oil. So we add these things to kind of keep changing a dish and giving it some dynamic and some yeah. texture. And some it's a pedal board. Yeah. It's like a pedal, so board. pedal board. Exactly. There's reverbs and there's distortions and there's all these things you can pull from, but it's like, I have a vision for how I want it to sound and how I want it to taste. And so when I see this, I'm like, oh cool, like this adds salinity instead of just throwing in a bunch of salt. It's like, yeah, I understand that from a musical perspective yeah, for sure. Awesome. Yeah, man. All right, we're getting this pretty seasoned now. We want to add some like life to it. So we're going to add some fresh herbs. We're going to use mint and I think this it's gonna give it that nice kind of effervescence to the dish that we want with this mm -hmm. fried stuff. And this is like, once again, just layering, right? You say Evanescence? Evanescence, yeah, I love Evanescence. That's that's a band, right? No? Is that what it is? Wake me up! Oh. Wake me you know up it inside, is. take yeah. it out! Yeah, that was great. Sizes! <laughs> Now we want to just set this aside for a little bit because it's going to absorb all these flavors, break down the cabbage a little bit. Let's soften it up. So while we're doing that, why don't we make this peanut sauce? Yeah. Sound good? Let's do it. All right, cool. This peanut butter is pretty thick. Yeah. It's just peanuts. So there's none of that other crap in it. We're just going to add a couple, a couple large tablespoons of that in there. And then we're going to like layer the idea of peanut. So what we have here is some peanut miso. So they're peanuts that have been fermented with koji, which is like an inoculated rice. Wow. It's really good. It's like the best salty peanut butter you've ever had. And then we have a little peanut oil. Oh, peanut oil. And then we have some oat milk with a little more of shio koji. Cool. And we're gonna add that. I was that. definitely gonna be like, is that peanut juice? Yeah, we milked peanuts too. And then we have some raw garlic and a little bit of some warming spices. So like clove, black pepper, and allspice. Cool. And then we're just gonna let this thing rip here. Cool. And that's the peanut sauce? It's the peanut sauce for this one. Wow. How long has Oyster Oyster been open? Uh, and congratulations on the Michelin. Thank you. So, yeah. It's, it's incredible. Quite an accolade, yeah. Yes. It's super rad, yeah. It's Man, it's like a Grammy. I don't even know you, I'm like, I'm proud of you. It's weird. No. Oh. Shout out to you. No, I feel like I'm hanging out with my mom. <laughs> All right. So now we're frying these suckers up? Yeah, we're gonna shallow fry these, get it really nice and crispy. I'm definitely gonna email you about interning. Yeah, Yeah. anytime. You're welcome. Oh, so these don't cook that long. You're just like yeah, searing just gonna, them. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic now, some thyme sprigs. Wow. It's like a real, Hot. all your senses when you're cooking, yeah. you know? It's like, you get sounds, aromas. Cool, and we're gonna add some of this vegan butter. Amazing. We're releasing all those aromatics from the thyme too. It's gonna permeate the crust a little bit. Get all that flavor in there. Wow. It's like all those little nuances that add up in the end, you know? It smells amazing. Thank you. So we're gonna add some of this, the sea salt that we're actually getting from Delaware. Uh, we have our warm peanut broth. Peanut broth, check. 
Then we have our slaw that we made. Check. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the bottom of the plate here. I'm gonna take one of these cutlets, I'll put that on top. I get a little herb salad. We have some fennel fronds, some more of that mint, nice. some parsley, some nice vegetal flavors. And we have some pickled carrots, some raw radish to kind of get that peppery spice in there. And then we have this herb oil made from cilantro and some shiso. We're gonna kind of zigzag that in there. And then we're just gonna ladle this sauce around. Wow, this is crazy, Rob. There we go, man. This is what we made. This looks amazing. Yeah, let's dig in. Moment of truth. I'm so excited right? to eat this. Well, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. That's so good. I'm happy we did this. This is the best day of my life, Rob. Thank you. This is incredible. I think it was the whisking of the batter that really did it. The batter, dude, mm -hmm. I've really crushed it straight up. How about we go play some music now? Yeah, let's go play some music. All right. Let's do it. Rolling. Take one. There's reasons for heavy hearts. This past year, I thought I was broken. You look so nice in the cherry scarf We should go to Toronto more often I never want to receive this I never meant you know now like that Some nights I feel just like my dad But you know I never saw the God why it's so hard if you can't fall back Then I remember I lack Too much of fun My hurt And that's a shame Pulling up like it's a scheme Had an asshole on the train Every DC what you made Put the red dot on your TV I don't need no one to be in She's in our turn and our geek She's in our turn and our geek She a whole lot of bad news Put the law I'm a rich nigga, mad dude, I buy that damn fool When I think about your last week's here Are you glad I did them shoes here? Had a dark since you was clean All the way to your foot, I never wanna be you Like that, I really don't know Now, my back, my hand on the side of your back Touch you I really saw the blood in that Watching how you braced for impact Then I remember I will have Too much of fun My heavy heart I
rock and roll.
But these days we don't talk no more. We don't talk anymore. I never meant to say this. Some days I don't feel like I'm the man. I feel that from the bottom. I know I do some stuff you cannot stand. Oh, baby. And now I'm walking at the ocean. All right. I'm dripping wet in this because I can't swim. And they say black folks drink in the sea. But I want you. In the dark, on a tree. And still I swear, I never break, I never fold. Still they say Black folks drink in and see But I want you Over me In the dark On a tree Daylight doesn't seem to come up as fast When it's you, I'm calling You, I'm haunting I need you back in my system So many things I wish I'd known When every night I lie Hoping you come through the door My life feels wrong without you If I can't be here Lost and abandoned Nobody asking I cannot stand by you There's days that I go off stranded Nobody follows Nobody sees what's true there's days that I wanted to be through And every day I toss and turn My life is wrong without you
chin Something I saw on TV But you were the only one who would come through calling You found ways to rescue me I'm just pressing things, is that okay? <laughs> it's pretty crazy right now, it's kind of cool, it looks like a spaceship, there's all these blinking lights, which I like, you know, at night it looks really cool too, so, see me at night, I guess. <laughs> 